You welcome to the glorious month of June. Safety moment with Waliola wishes you a glorious month ahead. That the month of mental health, which is the month of May, just ended, doesn't mean that our mental health must be in mayhem. It only tells us that there is continuity in ensuring that we develop positive mental health. So today, briefly, we'll be speaking to us about how to develop positive coping strategies like we've once discussed with us that we have positive and negative coping strategies however we humans tend to use negative coping strategies to live our lives which leads to developing negative behavioral defense mechanisms that are not effective in dealing with life challenges so briefly we'll be giving us some positive coping strategies we have a lot of them such as having a optimistic outlook, being confident in yourself that you can always achieve whatever you want to achieve as far as you sit down and look into problem focused strategies to attack the problem, looking at the challenges you are facing and breaking them down into pieces, you can always have that optimistic outlook that you can always achieve whatever you want to achieve adjusting our expectation not expecting too much from ourselves because blessed are those that does not expect for they shall not be disappointed we should always try as much as possible to adjust our expectations also to seek support from others seeking support from others which also lead us to creating positive friendship positive relationships with people that could help us assist us in achieving our goals in living our lives it's not only about the work but also being happy with ourselves people that makes us love creating friendship which also helps us in reducing stress also we have communication expressing yourself speaking about your problems your stressors your challenges to people around you can also help you in relieving yourself of the stress connecting with others connecting with people of positivity creating connection not living an, an idle life a lonely life creating connecting with people around you developing self-discipline is also a very important aspect of positive coping strategy being disciplined with whatever you want to achieve planning your goals and staying with your commandment and reviewing your goals to see if what you plan is what you're actually um, going through to achieve your goals. And this also takes us to the PDCA cycle, which is learning from mistake and success by evaluation. Evaluation using the PDCA cycle, the plan, the PDCA means plan, do, check, act. Planning your activities, planning your goals, doing means that doing what you plan to achieve. Check means that looking into it, if what you are doing is what you plan to do, and if there are any differences, acting means that looking at those ways to improve on your system, looking at those ways to adjust the system based on the, based on the changes that we see in our environment. And we also have the uh, using humor always. Looking at situations with humor reduces stress. Taking baby steps, taking a step at a time. Taking short, looking for short-term goals. Short-term goals can be work-related, can be career-related, and it can even be fun-related. Short-term goals can be you playing your game and you're like, okay, today I'm playing PS 2015 or PS 2020, my PS4. I want to make sure that I win this particular team. It can be playing chess with your friend and making sure that, okay, my goal for this week is that I'm going to beat my friend in chess game. It can be anything fun and it can also be work-related. It also goes down to consistency with time management. Planning our time management, be consistent with our time management, interpersonal skills. This will help us to deal with stress as it helps us to develop and evolve. Then also, taking an eagle eye view. Taking an eagle eye view. Taking an eagle eye view. You know how eagle eye view is? Looking at your plan, your activities, your goal from the beginning to the end from an eagle eye so that you'll be able to spot where the obstacles will be and you'll be able to pick up where there can be challenges and you know how to tackle those challenges at a particular time. And lastly, accepting yourself and others. Accepting yourself. No one is perfect. Go out eat out. Don't sit down when you are being eat by a particular challenge. Accept it. Look for way out. Solve the problem. And if possible, stay out of work to relax yourself. Life and work balance is very essential. And this is what we have for you on today's episode of Setting Moment with Waliola. We hope you share this around, share this around with people you love so that we can continue 
to live a positive mental health state. Thank you and God bless.